Okay, folks, I had a request for a member uh, to give a little more detail about uh, my lumber shed. Uh, basically, what I've got is a salt box, which is a 412 on one side and a 612 on the other, the cantilever section. Um, I went with this because it provides good coverage as far as you don't have a lot of blow in because you've got this cantilevered section and most of your water drains off the back side. Um, this is set up at uh, 17 feet of coverage with um, basically 12 foot wide sections and let me just straight up say this by no possible means does this meet code. This is really thinly spanned um, it's just maxed out. Those uh, joists are um, three feet apart and, and I say joists because I don't have purling strips. Instead I built this like a floor system so instead of having purlings I have these these joists that run and the roofing is screwed directly into the into the um, joist. Now the thing about metal roofing is it provides a lot of strength so you don't have to have um, the same amount of material that you do in, in any other type of roof. It's naturally anti, it basically becomes a panel when you screw it in on schedule and uh, the roofing I actually got salvaged so I don't have a lot of money in that at all. Um, in the future, since I'm milling my own 2x4s now, I'll be building another shed here coming up in about two months for beekeeping and when I do that um, video I'll probably put it on a time lapse or something but I'll be building it with two by sixes as opposed to two by fours and I'll span 24 inches instead of this kind of maximum span which is what I've got here at three feet. Um, anyway um, my sticker racks are um, built basically um, on large eight by eights that uh, let me get in here so you can see there's a baits that are running down through there and they even are up off the ground because they're on um, uh, cat block as you get farther down because they have to be perfectly level um, they're they're completely true and then I've got a sticker on top of the a baits and then I start uh, my boards so that's one sticker rack. Um, this, by the way, is a manual rack. If you've got a forklift or something, you're going to be doing something very different, which is you're going to make it so that these, these racks would basically be turned 90 degrees and you would drive in and park, uh, park your lumber uh, with a forklift. This, since I don't have a forklift, this is all manual um, and I'm limited to 12 foot wide um, if I was to go and do a forklift rack. Uh, with this structure, so it, Lord knows if I if I was doing any other type, I'd be making uh, if I had a forklift, I'd be making these spans much wider, like 18 feet, so I could get 16 foot boards in comfortably. Um, but anyway, um, so the uh, shelving racks they are basically sections of uh, think of them kind of like ladders, and the important part of it is they're mortised in. That's incredibly important because um, there's a lot of weight. You can't just have that stuff nailed up. Nails will fail you with the kind of weight you're putting on. So um, they're all mortised in. They've got, um, they're actually nailed to the uprights with, uh, we can see on this back side here, right through there. They're nailed and tied into the uprights of the building. Um, and then they've got an up uh, a horizontal beam on the outside with diagonals to uh, prevent to make it a lot more rigid. Um, and you see there's six of those, and they're also sitting on eight by eights on the bottom that are level, and that's all there is to it. Um, these are not um, that hard to make. Um, you just set all these things up together and cut all the mortise all at one time um, it's not really really that bad so anyway um, these racks will hold about two and a half times of what a sticker rack will so um, and you can get to your wood problem with this I need to say I want that board right there well I've got about a uh, half an hour of unstacking figuring out a place to put the other wood before I can get to the lumber underneath 
uh, with these it makes life just a lot easier having uh, having the, the shelving racks I can get uh, a lot to a lot of my wood pretty quickly you can see some of my my two by fours I just milled here last month uh, they've already dried out it's been spring is a great time for drying wood so anyway as you see I've got um, now I've got six shelving racks and four sticker racks I've um, increased my shelving racks as I got more and more um, lumber and needed to needed a place to store it. I've now stopped at that. I think that's pr probably a pretty good balance of sticker to, to shelving and I don't need to store any more wood than what I've got because this is a lot of freaking wood. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, um, just leave it in the comment below. Um, of course, like and subscribe and have a great day.